Last week in Philadelphia, we saw the SmackDown return of the head of the table, the Tribal Chief, Roman Reigns walking down the aisle for the first time since he shocked the world back on WrestleMania Saturday and confronted the World Heavyweight Champion Gunther. But Roman Reigns was confronted in the city of brotherly love by none other than the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre. McIntyre drew a line in the sand, and McIntyre told Roman Reigns flat out that if you want to get a shot at Gunther, you gotta go through me to get it. McIntyre is not settled on his pursuit of regaining the World Heavyweight Championship against the ring general, Gunther. And speaking of the champion himself, for the first time since WrestleMania Saturday, Gunther is live and in living color. He is in action in your main event as he goes one-on-one -on -one with Latino World Order's Emperor of Lucha Libre, Santos Escobar, right here on Friday Night SmackDown. We are live tonight in the Key Bank Center, Buffalo, New York, on the road to backlash Saturday, April the 13th in San Juan, Puerto Rico, and we are being joined by the Apex Predator, Randy Orton. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 275 pounds, the Viper, Randy Orton! The proverbial blood is on Randy Orton's hands. Let's go back to last week in the Wells Fargo Center. Cody Rhodes one-on-one -on -one with the badass Braun Breaker, and Cody's eye take it off the ball due to a distraction by the Apex Predator. Braun Breaker took advantage and was able to get a huge victory over the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes, adding that to his victory over the Rated R Superstar Edge back at WrestleMania. But Braun Breaker, although victorious, upset in victory, told Randy Orton on social media he didn't need his help. And Braun Breaker went to management and challenged Randy Orton to this one-on-one -on -one matchup tonight. Management of Lied, and now for the first time ever, here on SmackDown, kicking things off from Buffalo, New York, it is the badass Braun Breaker taking on the Apex Predator, Randy Orton, and I gotta tell you, these are two combustible elements sure to blow here on SmackDown. We have seen Breaker and Orton stand side by side in the past in tag team action, and their paths have crossed in the Elimination Chamber and multi-man matches in the past, but never one-on-one. -on -one. Tonight, new grounds for both men. Ron Breaker's been on a bit of a roll as of late, but Randy Orton clearly laser-focused on a mission here on Friday night. Seemingly, that mission is not turning away the past in Cody Rhodes just yet. Randy Orton drew his line in the sand last week on SmackDown, but he pissed off this badass along the way. from Woodstock, Georgia, weighing in at 230 pounds, Braun Breaker! Well, Braun Breaker has been on the SmackDown brand for about one year at this point, and has certainly been on a lot of ups and downs. But will he remain on Friday Night SmackDown? We're gonna find out Monday night, April the 8th, when the 2024 WWE Draft Lottery comes your way only on Monday Night Raw. It is a live premiere event at 5 p.m. Eastern time, a night that'll surely shake the landscape of the WWE forever. Ron Breaker, a blue chipper, here on Friday Night SmackDown. And as you saw, defeated Cody Rhodes seven nights ago, but not the way Breaker wanted to get the job done. You gotta respect that thought from the badass himself. I think WrestleMania and that war against the Rated R Superstar Edge and a victory clean as a whistle for Braun Breaker really brought a newfound confidence over this young man, the former two-time NXT champion. Breaker looking to get the job done in between the ropes, on his own, no by hooks, no by crooks, challenging Randy Orton to this matchup tonight in Buffalo, New York. The bell has sounded and we are underway and it's sure gonna be a hot and heavy night on the road to Backlash which is again coming up Saturday night, April the 13th from the Coliseum in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Randy Orton, hot out of the gate in the early going, going one-on-one -on -one 
with the badass Braun Breaker. And still to come here in Buffalo, New York, the women's world champion, Shayna Baszler. Back in action for the first time since WrestleMania Sunday. Set to go one-on-one -on -one with Dakota Kai. Dakota Kai going to be a part of that gauntlet match next week on SmackDown for a possible title opportunity against Shayna Baszler. Baszler wanted to compete here tonight, and Dakota Kai, the first one to sign that open contract. Should be very interesting to see who's going to come out on the other side of that contest later tonight. Here's Braun Breaker looking to keep his hot streak going here on SmackDown against the Viper. You know, Randy Orton might have bite off more than he could chew over the last seven days. Remember, he's coming out of WrestleMania on the losing end of things to the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Orton obviously not settled with that result back at AT&T Stadium. Orton distracting Cody Rhodes seven nights ago, but he only got himself in the trouble with the young badass Braun Breaker. Will Breaker be able to keep his hot streak going, or is Randy Orton gonna use Breaker as a stepping stone here tonight to send the message to Cody Rhodes that their issues are far, far from over? Or remains to be seen as Breaker doing a number on Randy Orton on the outside here. Breaker beating down on the Viper, wearing him down here in the Key Bank Center. And I'll tell you what, interesting situations at hand as the World Heavyweight Champion Guther is in the building tonight. And certainly a lot of speculation on who Guther's next challenger is going to be has really taken the center stage here on SmackDown over the last seven days. Got names like Roman Reigns and Drew McIntyre trying to throw their name in the hat. But what about Cody Rhodes, Randy Orton, Braun Breaker? Some of the other top names here on Friday Night SmackDown. It may be anybody's ball game. Who will stand across the ring from Guther April the 13th? More remains to be seen, but right now, Randy Orton just trying to get back into this matchup. Focus on the task at hand against Breaker himself. Randy Orton again coming off a loss at WrestleMania, not looking to see his shoulders pinned to the canvas once more here in Buffalo, New York. On Breaker in trouble. Randy Orton, this is vintage in his arsenal. A good old fashioned superplex and wait a minute. The American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Get ready to learn the lyrics to Kingdom. Well, it's Cody giving Randy Orton a taste of his own medicine. This is what we saw last week, the distraction. And Orton's playing, wait a minute. Orton playing right in to the games. Cody Rhodes, however, from behind with a solid steel chair. Well, I mean, you can't say the referee didn't catch the tail end of that, but I don't even know, but referee's discretion. Here we go. I don't even know. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Chaos in the middle of the Key Bank Center. Cody Rhodes sneaking up on Randy Orton. Just cracked him with a steel chair. But the referee's discretion goes. Referee's letting this matchup roll on. Randy Orton got to have his bell rung right now. And I'm sure Braun Breaker isn't happy about another interference, but you can't knock Breaker for trying to take advantage of a grounded Viper Randy Orton. All is fair in love and war. Chaos breaking down over the last seven days between Orton and Cody Rhodes. Breaker finding himself in the middle of it. And maybe trying to wreak the rewards of it all over again here tonight. Randy Orton trying to find a window of opportunity, but obviously not feeling 100% after that steel chair shot. Ron Breaker continuing the offense, and this is what the young superstars got to do. Forearm right to the back, right to the chrome dome that was just trapped with the steel chair a few moments ago. Again, ladies and gentlemen, referee's discretion goes, and I think the referee knows the issues between Orton, knows the issues between Cody and is letting those issues not get in the way of Braun Breaker and Randy Orton's one-on-one -on -one matchup tonight. Nobody wants to see this match go up in smoke here in Buffalo, New York. Oh no, wait a minute, Braun Breaker. Boys, ready to strike a spear by the badass. Braun Breaker looking for another illustrious victory here on the blue brand. He got him. Braun Breaker found himself wedged between these two stars. Here's your winner, Braun Breaker. And I'm sure Breaker isn't happy about the interference again, but wreaking the rewards is the badass. What a monumentous victory for Braun Breaker.
first edge at WrestleMania, then Cody Rhodes in Philadelphia last week. Now Randy Orton here tonight in Buffalo. The badass Braun Breaker has got a new leash on his career. Well, a huge win for Breaker, but ladies and gentlemen, we want to turn your attention to some news here on Friday Night SmackDown. Rumors have been swirling all week, and we can officially confirm that in two weeks, live on SmackDown, a former WWE superstar is set to return. Who's it going to be? Who's making their way back to Friday Nights? We find out in two weeks live here on SmackDown. Prepare for the most exciting 10 minutes, a fast-paced 600 seconds, and all the action you can handle. Coming your way exclusively every Wednesday to the Noah Nation Gaming TikTok. The superstars of Raw and SmackDown race to the finish line on Velocity. A new season in the WWE is upon us, and you haven't seen anything yet. Don't miss Velocity every single Wednesday, only on TikTok. We are back live here in the Key Bank Center in Buffalo, New York, and Akira Tozawa has challenged the United States Champion AJ Styles to a rematch for the final Friday Night SmackDown before WrestleMania. Certainly an interesting decision if I say so myself as the OC's leader has been riding a high since Survivor Series in November, rocking the red, white, blue, and especially the gold. The OC is in arms tonight, and leaving WrestleMania Sunday just a few weeks ago, AJ Styles is still your United States Champion. We could talk about AJ Styles in the United States Championship, but we shouldn't talk about it without referencing the one and only Ricochet. It was at WrestleMania Sunday that Styles turned away the efforts of the human highlight reel himself. Ricochet put up a phenomenal performance at AT&T Stadium, but just fell short to the phenomenal one himself. Of course, last week on SmackDown, we talked about Ricochet and Styles, and we referenced Ricochet's post on X, where Ricochet flat out said he is not done chasing AJ Styles in the United States Championship. The human highlight reel wants his day in the sun and wants to be the one to take down one of the best to ever do it for the red, white, blue, and gold. All remains to be seen if Ricochet is going to be able to score another United States Championship opportunity that he, of course, worked so hard to obtain in the first place. But tonight, AJ Styles with a different task at hand, a good friend of Ricochet. That being Akira Tozawa. And take nothing away from Tozawa, former cruiserweight champion, world travel veteran, been in this business for years. Tozawa quick as a cat in there sometimes. If AJ Styles underestimates Tozawa, he may find himself staring up at the lights. Again, these two men faced off on Friday Night SmackDown just 48 hours before Styles defended the United States title at WrestleMania. It was a victory for the champion on that night, but Akira Tozawa we're going to bounce back here in Buffalo, New York. And I still can't get over what we just saw moments ago, ladies and gentlemen. Braun Breaker picking up another monumentous victory. Raking him up over the last month here on SmackDown. First edge at WrestleMania. Clean as a whistle, no doubt about it. T took down, excuse me, the rated all superstar of the Hall of Famer in edge. And then last week on SmackDown, the victory over Cody Rhodes. And Breaker, the first one to tell you that it did not come without some interference by Randy Orton. Tried to settle it here tonight, but then Cody Rhodes getting involved. And Breaker, once again, wreaking the benefits of the issues between Orton and Cody. Keep your eyes on the badass Braun Breaker on the come up once more here on Friday Night SmackDown. Nonetheless, here's AJ Styles with the calf crusher locked in, but I don't think he's done enough damage to really keep that in for that long. Akira Tozawa needs those feet, needs those knees, working well to spring around this ring. The high-flying abilities, the strikes of Tozawa that took him from Japan all the way to the States many years ago. 
The OC, of course, surrounded ringside, trying to do anything they can to interfere. Quite frankly, I don't think they really need to be out here, but nonetheless, Tozawa off the tope, taking down Styles at ringside, and look at him go! Akira Tozawa getting fired up here in Buffalo, New York. Better watch his back. Look, good thing Jessica Carr's right there, keeping a close eye on the action, because Anderson and Gallows. And a mouth off to Tozawa. The United States champion AJ Styles making the most of it. You know, Styles didn't bring Gallows and Anderson to the ring when he fought Ricochet at WrestleMania. So I don't really see why they need to be out here tonight for his matchup against Akira Tozawa, but I digress. There's Tozawa again. Taking down Styles. Do not underestimate the former Cruiserweight champion. Styles into the ropes. Getting stopped dead in his tracks here, and the United States champion with an elbow. Styles has held that United States gold since Survivor Series, November the 19th of last year to be exact. He has defeated the American Nightmare. Cody Rhodes retained the gold over Rey Mysterio. Santos Escobar, the one and only Ricochet as well. Gotta wonder if Ricochet is gonna be stepping up to the plate to be the next one to challenge AJ Styles all over again in a WrestleMania rematch. Or is there somebody else in the SmackDown brand who's looking to carve their path to the red, white, blue, and gold? All remains to be seen as Styles looking to put on a showcase here in Buffalo, New York. Revving the engines back up for the first time since WrestleMania Sunday. Tozawa hanging in there with AJ Styles. AJ Styles might have underestimated his opponent tonight. Tozawa didn't challenge AJ to this rematch for no reason. Tozawa clearly did his homework. Oh! I don't care how much homework you do, it ain't the test. And AJ, AJ, AJ Styles just gave him the answers. Nonetheless, still to come tonight here in Buffalo, New York, the World Heavyweight Champion back in action. Certainly a superstar caliber night here on SmackDown as the ring general Gunther one-on-one -on -one with the LWO's Santos Escobar, plus the women's world champion and Shayna Baszler is in the house. Since that open contract to the women's division, Dakota Kai, the first one to put her name on the paper. We're gonna see Dakota in action against the Queen of Spades later tonight. Now AJ Styles continuing to wear down and Akira Tozawa, he's got that calf crusher locked in once again. Tozawa, four from the ropes. I don't know if he's got enough left in the tank. AJ Styles has been stacking the offense for the last number of minutes here in Buffalo. Tozawa reaving in pain right now. And that's gonna do it. Akira Tozawa, no choice but to tap out. Well, Styles knocked him out a few weeks ago. Tonight, he tapped him out. Styles showing his versatile offense and reminding the world just why he is the United States champion. Here is your winner. The You gotta wonder who is gonna be next to step up to the phenomenal. Oh, wait a minute. Well, it could be this man. Ricochet said he was not done chasing the United States Championship. Ricochet looking for WrestleMania to just be a chapter in his long story where he finally accomplishes his goal of winning the red, white, blue, and gold. Will he be able to earn another championship opportunity? Only time will tell here on SmackDown. Coming your way on Saturday night, April the 13th, Witness the aftermath of WrestleMania as the superstars of Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown head to San Juan, Puerto Rico for the 2024 Backlash. This international live premiere event streams live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Saturday night, April the 13th. And as a new season approaches, what will these superstars have in store? You haven't seen anything yet, and nothing can prepare you for the backlash. Ladies and gentlemen, cameras are catching up with the head of the table, Roman Reigns and the Scottish warrior Drew McIntyre backstage somewhere here in the Key Bank Center. All hell has breaking loose between these two superstars after what we saw at the end of last week's SmackDown. 
Roman Reigns obviously not taking kindly to not one but two Claymore kicks from the Scottish Warrior himself. McIntyre not looking to let Roman Reigns jump the line for a World Heavyweight title matchup. We gotta get some help back there before these two superstars absolutely destroy each other. They already broke that one glass window. Oh man, run of the concrete. Roman Reigns not afraid to get his hands dirty. Drew McIntyre not afraid to get his hands dirty if it means getting another world championship matchup. These two egos are clashing just in the first few weeks of the season here in the WWE. Roman Reigns and Drew McIntyre. Absolute chaos here on SmackDown. Oh, I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Impromptu uh, brawl, I guess, if you want to call it that. Camera's rapidly catching up with them in the back, but oh, we, we got to try to refocus here on SmackDown. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making our way to the ring from Auckland, New Zealand, Dakota well, next week here on the blue brand is a six women gauntlet matchup where the winner's gonna take on Shayna Baszler at Backlash. It is Shotzi, Selena Vega, EO Sky, Dakota Kai herself, Bianca Belair, and Raquel Rodriguez. The number one contendership to the women's world title hangs in the balance. And as for tonight, Dakota Kai going one-on-one -on -one with the champion herself, the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. Baszler back in action for the first time since retaining her title against Raquel Rodriguez on WrestleMania Sunday. Baszler issued the open challenge to the women's division locker room. Dakota Kai the first one to answer, and here we go here in Buffalo. Shayna Baszler has held that championship proudly since Survivor Series, and who will stand across the ring from her the next time we come your way for a massive live premiere event? Saturday night, April the 13th, at 5 p.m. Eastern Time in San Juan, Puerto Rico, for Backlash. We will have our answers seven nights from tonight in the gauntlet matchup that'll take center stage here on Friday Night SmackDown. Shayna Baszler, however, set for this non-title matchup, looking to get some of the rust off over these last few weeks since her championship defense at WrestleMania. Of course, accompanied by her new protege, Zoe Stark, somebody who we saw Baszler take under her wing on the road to WrestleMania. Could be a dangerous duo here on Friday Night SmackDown if they continue to be running alongside each other. Dakota Kai might have bit off more than she can chew here tonight, but obviously, when you got a chance to take down the champion, you're not gonna go after it. But Baszler looking for the early victory. Dakota Kai able to survive. Baszler setting the pace in the early moments. And it's such an interesting matchup as well as Dakota Kai, we know no matter what, is gonna be involved in that number one contender's gauntlet match next week. Imagine how Dakota Kai could build momentum for herself if she could upset the champion here tonight on SmackDown. Some would say that would already put her in line for a Women's World Championship matchup. It's an interesting opportunity at hand. You can only answer those few questions when we get the results of this contest. Dakota Kai looking to take the fight to the Queen of Spades. Dakota Kai looking for her breakout moment here on SmackDown. And it's easier said than done when you're in there with the dominating and certainly intim intimidating Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. Again next week, it'll be Dakota Kai, Zelina Vega, Shotzi. Wait a minute, pinfall here. Not just yet. Io Sky, Raquel Rodriguez, Bianca Belair. Some of the women have stepped into the ring with Shayna Baszler before. Whole different ball game. We get to the first massive live premiere event of the season. San Juan, Puerto Rico for Backlash. Dakota Kai, look at her taking the fight to Baszler right now. Well, thank you for joining us here on Friday Night SmackDown, and thank you for tuning in over the last couple of weeks as we kick off the 2024-2025 season. 
It has certainly already been a roller coaster, not just over the last few weeks, but certainly here tonight on SmackDown. I mean, what about what we just saw backstage moments ago between Roman Reigns and Drew McIntyre? It was McIntyre getting the last laugh in the Wells Fargo Center seven nights ago with not one but two Claymore kicks. Roman Reigns obviously not taking kindly to it. A brawl instituting in the backstage area and Roman breaking the glass of those windows on the shoulder blades of Drew McIntyre. He's going to feel that one on Saturday morning to say the least. Combustible elements exploding before our very eyes. Everybody's trying to become next in line for Gunther's World Heavyweight Championship here on SmackDown. Of course, speaking of the champion, we will see him in action up next in our main event. When he returns for the first time since his incredible defense on WrestleMania Saturday. Something a one-on-one -on -one with Santos Escobar, but wait a minute, Dakota Kai, submission hold in here. Creative offense, especially daring offense, when you're in there with somebody who is a submission magician like Shayna Baszler. Man, imagine if Baszler, or I should say, imagine if Dakota can get the tap out or get Baszler to give up here, but that is easier said than done. Dare I say, Shayna Baszler right up there with the 2023 Women's Superstar of the Year as voted by you, the fans, Rhea Ripley. Neck and neck when it comes to dominance over the last 12 months here in the WWE. Rhea over on Raw, Baszler over here on SmackDown. And for some time, Shayna Baszler was ruling both brands as the WWE Women's Champion. And look at this, look at Dakota Kai. Fireman's carry position, Baszler picks the ankles. This may be a desperation pinfall here, not just yet. Shayna Baszler, maybe getting surprised tonight by Dakota Kai, a mean knee right to the jaw. Cannot knock the efforts by Dakota Kai. You gotta commend her stepping up to the plate tonight. Looking to earn herself some momentum ahead of next week's gauntlet matchup where she could possibly find herself fighting Shayna Baszler all over again on April the 13th at Backlash for the women's world title. But tonight it is no championship matchup. Baszler looking to remind the world just why she is a top of the queendom here on SmackDown. Dakota Kai looking to break out. And unfortunately for Dakota Kai, it is not going her way. Baszler is stacking the offense and she is doing it emphatically. You hate to see it for somebody young and hungry like Dakota Kai here on the blue brand. But Shayna Baszler gonna do what she's gotta do to remind the women's division just whose house it is. Many thought that Raquel Rodriguez would be taking down Shayna Baszler. That would be her night at WrestleMania in Dallas, Texas. And even Shayna Baszler turned away that challenge on the grandest stage of them all. If that couldn't keep down Shayna Baszler at WrestleMania in Raquel's home state, with all the momentum that Raquel had. Is there anything that can stop Baszler's reign as women's world champ? Again, easier said than done. It's now Dakota Kai on the shoulders and Baszler wiping her out. Into the pinfall. Is that all she wrote? Oh, you gotta give credit where credit's due. The intestinal fortitude of Dakota Kai to remain confident and kick out in this matchup. The offense getting stacked in Dakota Kai, I am sure, is running on E. When you're in there with Shayna Baszler, can't leave any stone unturned. Look at Baszler, there's no waste in motion. Dakota kicked out right back on the offense. You don't gotta like Shayna Baszler, but you better respect the offense that she brings to the squared circle. They've counter that time, and Dakota in trouble. Wait a minute, Baszler finding herself in an opportune position. Karafuda clutch, locked in tight. Dakota Kai, nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. The submission magician, all kinds of tied up with Dakota Kai, and that is gonna do it. Shayna Baszler continues to ride at the top of the mountain. The women's world champion, another victory. But now Baszler looks ahead to next week where we determine a number one contender for Backlash. Here is your winner, the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. 
as Shayna Baszler, another victory for her. And Dakota Kai's got seven nights to try to get some R&R because &R she participates in the gauntlet matchup seven nights from tonight. Dakota, Zelina, Shotzi, Io, Raquel, and Belair. Who is going to win the gauntlet and challenge Baszler one-on-one -on -one for the Women's World Championship at Backlash? Coming your way on Saturday night, April the 13th, Witness the aftermath of WrestleMania as the superstars of Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown head to San Juan, Puerto Rico for the 2024 Backlash. This international live premiere event streams live at 5 p.m. Eastern time on Saturday night, April the 13th. And as a new season approaches, what will these superstars have in store? You haven't seen anything yet, and nothing can prepare you for the backlash. Well, these two combustible elements have been exploding before our very eyes over the last two weeks, and we can officially confirm, coming up on April the 13th, Roman Reigns returns to in-ring action as he goes one-on-one -on -one with the Scottish warrior Drew McIntyre. These two egos clash in the middle of San Juan, Puerto Rico at Backlash. What a matchup that is going to be. Coming up on Saturday night, April the 13th, Roman Reigns versus Drew McIntyre, one-on-one. -on -one. You gotta believe both of those men are looking to take one more step forward in the challenging Guther for the World Heavyweight Championship. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, representing the LWO from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 200 pounds. But as Santos Escobar and the Latino World Order make their way to the ring tonight, you gotta wonder, now that Roman Reigns and Drew McIntyre are set for one-on-one -on -one action, who is gonna be the one to step up and challenge Guther at Backlash itself for the World Heavyweight title? I'll tell you what, if there's one thing coming out of SmackDown tonight in the Key Bank Center in Buffalo, New York, it's a lot of questions that we need answers to on the road to San Juan, Puerto Rico, Saturday night, April the 13th. But Santos Escobar in action here tonight, and he has certainly got his hands full, as for the first time since WrestleMania Saturday. The World Heavyweight Champion, the Ring General, Gunther is back in action with Imperium in arms. And his opponents, representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, the World Heavyweight Champion, Gunther! If you can get a glimpse, Gunther walking down the aisle tonight with a brand new World Heavyweight Championship around his waist, out with the old and in with the new, as Gunther is personifying being the face of this generation before our very eyes. Guther has held the World Heavyweight Championship since November the 19th at Survivor Series. He has only lost one matchup since his SmackDown debut back in December of 2022. Guther, a rare breed, and that is putting it mildly. And when just when you thought that Drew McIntyre had him beat, after a pile driver through the announce table, after a Claymore kick, after bloodying the skull of the ring general at WrestleMania, Guther still somehow, some way, found a way to retain the world championship. That avalanche power bomb to McIntyre, but of course Guther's celebration spoiled by the return of the head of the table, Roman Reigns, and we see how that situation has developed over the last two weeks. Nonetheless, Guther back in action here tonight as the bell has sounded. We are underway with your SmackDown main event. Santos Escobar looking to bounce back from his WrestleMania loss alongside LWO member Rey Mysterio. 
Gunther high out of the gate. My goodness. And Gunther just never takes a day off inside of that ring. When that bell sounds, the ring general ain't mailing it in, to say the least. Look at him going to the top rope. The bell just rang, and the ring general's looking to make it. A statement here tonight. He knows Roman Reigns is somewhere in the building watching this. He knows Drew McIntyre's probably back getting those glass shot. Get the, getting the glass out of his shoulder blades, probably, with his eyes on the television, watching Gunther taking out Santos Escobar right now. Gunther looking to send a message here tonight. If Santos Escobar's got anything to say about it, it could be a massive win for the LWO. Look at this, Santos Escobar trying to outrun Gunther, and that may be his best shot. Trying to stick and move against the ring general. This is the former three-time cruiserweight champion and a man who was within mere inches of winning the WWE Tag Team title alongside Rey Mysterio at WrestleMania, just falling short. A-Town down under, Austin Theory and Grayson Waller. Of course, retained their titles last week in Philadelphia against Alpha Academy, Chad Gable and Otis. Santos Escobar looking to turn the tables on this matchup. From Brett's rope, Santos going for the splash. Gunther out of harm's way already. Total miscalculation from the Emperor of Lucha Libre. Nerves may be setting in, realizing he is in there with the dominating World Heavyweight Champion. Gunther better stop mouthing off. To, I don't know if he's mouthing off to Joaquin Wilde or the WWE Universe, but Gunther better keep his head on straight and not on the swivel that it is. Oh man, Santos Escobar, big time forearm trying to find a window of opportunity in this matchup. As we said tonight in Buffalo, New York is giving SmackDown a lot more questions and answers on the road to backlash. But Santos Escobar. Forget the questions, forget the answers. He is looking for an exclamation point made statement. Oh my goodness, look at the agility from Gunther. Santos Escobar able to sidestep that time. Frankensteiner, the World Heavyweight Champion. You know, this is not the LWO's first run in with Imperium. Rey Mysterio, back in his hometown in San Diego, California, tried to take down the World Heavyweight Champion Gunther several months ago. It did not go the way of the Hall of Famer. Maybe Escobar's luck is going to be different here tonight. And the cover goes Charles Robinson, but it's only a one count there. Says a lot about the intestinal fortitude of the World Heavyweight Champion. Gunther is putting together an impressive resume, to say the least. Uh, now what? Uh, Ludwig Kaiser and Giovanni Vinci trying to stick their nose where it doesn't belong. Joaquin Wilde and Cruz del Toro now defenseless to help Santos Escobar as he is wrapped in the arms of the awaiting World Heavyweight Champion. Santos Escobar may be going to sleep as Vinci and Kaiser trying to stick their nose in this matchup. Santos trying to find a way out of it. Oh, wait a minute here. Gunther's shoulders are down, and oh man, Escobar almost stole the victory over the World Heavyweight Champion that would have been making headlines all across the globe. Gunther down and out, Escobar creating some distance. Now from the top, gets the crossbody he was looking for a few minutes ago. Into the cover he goes, not just yet as the World Heavyweight Champion survives. I'll tell you what. The action hot and heavy here on SmackDown tonight. Everybody looking to make a statement and make some noise. And Escobar may be at the top of that list. A destroyer to Gunther, but Giovanni Vinci's and his antics of taking that turnbuckle pad off got Charles Robinson's back turn. Absolutely ridiculous. No need for Imperium to even be out here tonight. Gunther didn't need them at WrestleMania. Why are they out here tonight? Giovanni Vinci continues to play games with Charles Robinson. Meanwhile, Escobar is trying to find his way out between a rock and a hard place. Counter for counter. Gunther with the overhand shot. And oh no, I don't care how good you are, where you been, and what you plan to do, Gunther looking to spoil the night of Santos with the submission hold, and he does it. Buffalo, New York becoming tap out city before our very eyes tonight. The champions were on display and Gunther caps off 
Friday Night SmackDown here in the Key Bank Center with yet another statement-making victory, this time over the Emperor of Lucha Libre. Here is your winner, Gunter! With Roman Reigns and Drew McIntyre set to go one-on-one -on -one at Backlash, who is going to be next to... Wait a minute. Wait a minute, we've been talking about questions, but we may have finally got an answer. Braun Breaker in the ring, standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with the ring general, Guther. Is the badass calling his shot? Is the badass looking into his future? Is Braun Breaker challenging Guther for the World Heavyweight Championship?